Hey everyone, Solar Primal here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White. So, really quick, got the team all switched up. Now I gave Static the Lucky Egg and I gave Dread the Experience Share. And along the way back, we battled all the trainers that we skipped. So, their levels are a little higher than what they were before, but not quite where I would like them. But that's okay. So, what we need to do is move on like that. So, that's what we were gonna do in the last part, but it just didn't happen. Oh! Wow, there was a clink right there. And she wasn't wrong. They look like gears. Just like a bunch of gears turning around. I also taught static volt switch, just in case this, uh, you know, some of the stuff that comes up might be a little tough, because it only gained three levels since I caught it, so... You know, just precaution. But I think what I might try and do... Oh, no Thundershock? Neat. That Pokemon right there that I'm finding, Clink, is a bit of a, we'll say, um, crowd favorite? A lot of people like this Pokemon, and I would have considered it for my team as well, but I have a full roster. Plus, I'm pretty happy with our current setup right now. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Interlocking two bodies and spinning around generates the energy they need to live. Wow, that's awful. I feel really bad for them all of a sudden. Oh, uh, but it's all death to his part. It brings a whole new meaning to this. Um, I feel like, yeah, you're blocking the way for me, sir. Oh, and another new Pokemon, Furrow Seed. In uh, my um, fun fact, X and Y playthrough, I caught one of these. That was shiny, so that's cool. Don't think I can actually do much damage against this thing, but let's find out. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's part grass and steel, so... Yep, that's the sound of uh, static using Volt Switch. Might as well do the Volt Switch and get the free hit in. Even if it's not much, it's still something. So, I think the obvious choice to bring out is Pyra, since it's steel and uh, grass that it is. So we're just gonna do that. This one, this Pokemon was also one I had considered. In fact, I didn't consider it as a replacement for Hokage way back, but I needed the grass type replacement sooner than later, so went with my choice, and I'm happy with my choice. So there's that. But I did actually use one of these in my Black and White 2 playthrough. Not on the channel, just as a general playthrough. I think it spins way too much. It's making me dizzy looking at it. And, uh, you know, it was a good time. No complaints here. There's a scientist over there. Maybe it's an evil scientist. There's an item, so I'm gonna go... Oh, good to know. Won't step forward right away. And look, a boulder! Boldor. Boldador? Boldador. I'm going to. Because I think I fought one of these off screen already, and I already know I can't do a whole lot to it, so. Just gonna Volt Switch out to something that could probably. Oh, well, I actually did quite a bit there. Yeah, whatever. Pumpkin needs some love, too. It's not gonna be a lot of love, but. It's gonna be a little bit. Shouldn't do too much because it's, it's a rock Pokemon versus a water Pokemon. I mean, probably get all five hits on the rock blast. No, just four? Alright, fine. Get my hopes up, I don't ya. There we go. Uh, Bumpkin, you're so close to leveling up, but um, since I'm focusing on other Pokemon, you are getting the crap end of that stick. Light screen? No. We'll keep it as is. Off screen, uh, well, Dread did learn Air Cutter, so that was cool. 
That'll come in handy. Maybe. It, it probably will. Okay, so there's a dude over there and a dude over here. Oh, okay. So I'm giving me op those options, eh? He's looking in a circle. Alright, let's let's see. Oh. The depth perception's off. Yeah, because I totally couldn't see that thing. But oh, that works. Yeah, I could use a revive. Now I should battle this person because I have a feeling I won't be coming back to this place. So I'll be right back. Oh, that was pretty easy. He just had a clink with it, so... Just a slightly stronger thing than what I've been facing already. Um, there's some dust getting kicked up right now. I know this because I can hear it. Alright, I need to make the right choice here. There's two floating rocks. Oh. I have to push it from the other side. So it means I gotta get around this. Dude. Ah. Oh. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Because I walked up right beside it, it thought I wanted to push the thing. Which is not true. I just wanted to get around the dude. Now I feel like I won't be able to get around this dude, because he's probably going to just stand in place. But maybe the game's smart and will make him continue his little cycle. Let's hope so. Well, look who got themselves a nice little fossil Pokemon. I haven't actually... Actually, I got a fossil, and I just never bothered to bring it in. Hmm. Ow. Okay. That's how they. That's how they want to do this. Okay. Damn. Well, just because I want static to keep gaining levels, I'm gonna waste a revive on it, so it can still get its experience from this fight. Is that gonna hurt a lot? Oof. It did hurt a lot. It's probably faster. It's probably gonna knock out my. Ah. Oh. Sacrificial lamb, I suppose, but damn. Alright. Guess I need to get an actual wall in here. Yikes. Oh, I got options. Let's see what happens if I do this. Definitely can't do headbutt. Headbutt's not gonna do much. Really? So I get forced into this battle because the game mechanics are effing retarded, like in this dungeon. Just sorry, I didn't mean to use that word. Why did, uh, it's I, I'm sorry, different time. Um, what I was trying to say is the game mechanics aren't very good. Um, because yeah, as I said before, just because I moved beside it, I thought I wanted to push it. And so it locked me into the animation of me pushing it. And, uh, and, but yeah, I was stuck. It wasn't good. It was a bad time. Rock smash. There we go. I didn't think that was really fair to force me into this battle. I nearly kicked my ass. I need to get my team up. If, uh, regular NPCs, trainers, or coming up to me and kicking my butt then are you okay good I thought this guy was actually gonna be stuck in my way that would have been a pain in the butt and cool just out my own curiosity yeah I had a feeling that was gonna be an item up this way just cause it's like huh empty space with no item cool Oops. For now, though, I need to do a little bit of healing, especially since Bumpkin's down. I'm just burning through these Moo Moo Milks, like, as I said, like candy. Oh, where's my revives at? There you are. Okay. It's a good thing I bought a bunch. Oh, Stony is still paralyzed, too. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Let's fix that, shall we? Going through items like it is fuck 
something, I don't know. Had a sentence for it. No, I don't. Okay. Moving on up. Or down, I guess. Yeah, we're technically moving down. Uh, what's going on? Oh, okay. I clear the path and then they follow. I see. I see. Hi there. Do you, did you find something? I think we're just about done collecting data. This cave has been around since the distant past, but data to prove that Clink exists more than a thousand years ago can't be found. So that must mean Clink suddenly appeared a hundred years ago. Where Pokemon came from and where they are going. If we could learn that, I believe we can get along even better. Now what, Gordon? Pokemon are mysterious. I wonder why these amazing little guys stay by our sides. Oh, okay, you guys are just gonna stand there. Cool. Alright, either way, it's all good. I'll also just push that there. Oh. Nothing but a boulder. Oh, come on. Maybe I don't run. Maybe I'll just gently walk. Uh, which way am I supposed to go here? Oh, I guess this is the way I was supposed to go. Cool. Come. Oh, boy. Uh, now what? There are stairs going down ahead. Team Plasma is waiting for you there. Okay. Makes me wonder why these guys are helping Team Plasma. Hmm. Learning a new move. Interesting. So that's Electro Web. Five. Electro Ball. Where's Electro Ball? The faster the user than the target, the greater the damage. Well, it sounds like a gamble right now. Hmm. I mean. I'm gonna skip it for now. There is someone, if it turns out, if I'm wrong, I can relearn it. I'm sure there's going to be better electric moves up ahead anyways. Oops. Sorry. Keep old moves. Yes, give up on Electro Ball. As cool as it sounds, I'm just going to stick with the Electro Web. Uh, can I push this that way? Yay. Because it wouldn't have made sense anyways. There's the stairs. And no matter what, I probably have to bow you. I probably could have gone around you. Hmm. Either way, I'll well show it. I mean... Why the heck not? Well... Okay. She's got herself a clink. How come Professor Juniper can't find a clink? Hmm? Or maybe... Well... I... Yeah. It, her research doesn't show any findings, but... Sure, she could have found a clink here. Let's just switch out because I don't want to get in trouble with this thing. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna just go with Pyra. Pyra is the right choice for this, no matter what I do. Alright, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go with. Flame Charge. Flame Charge just seems to be more useful than the, the other fire move that I learned. I wasn't really familiar with that one anyways. Like, I don't remember using it at all. So, I can kind of see why now. Let me just check the health of my Pokemon. Yeah, they could use a bit of, bit of loving. Yeah, I might as well use the rest of my Super Potions. Still got the movie milk going, so that's no big deal, though. I feel like there's something else the other way. 
So curiosity has me here. Yay. Um. Oh, there is an item. Okay. So it wasn't crazy. No way I could have seen it without going this way, but that's okay. I just gotta make my way over to those stairs. See? I barely... I just walked beside it. I actually... I didn't continue walking up to that thing. And it immediately triggered it. Which is very annoying, but whatever. Just gotta keep on going. You guys don't look like Team Plasma. You guys Team Plasma? I don't know. I think this might be a good place to stop for now. I know you're like, ah, oh, come on, just keep going. It's like, no, no, no. Pacing. Pacing's important. <laughs> Alright, so in the next part, guys, we'll investigate further and hopefully see our Team Plasma opponents. So, until then, you guys, this is Solar Primal signing out, and bye for now.